Welcome to Culture Alley Mandarin. Ni hao. This is Basic Mandarin Lesson 11. Let's start by going over some of the phrases that you learned in the last lesson. Family or home translates to jia. Father is baba. Mother becomes mama. Son translates to arzi. Daughter becomes nyuar. Great. We also learned that elder sister translates to jie jie. Younger sister becomes mei mei. Elder brother is translated as ge ge. While younger brother is di di. Other family relations we learned included use of the particle da. Let's take a look. My home formally translates to wo de jia, while colloquially it becomes wo jia. My father becomes wo de baba, while colloquially it becomes wo baba. Similarly, my mother translates to wo de mama, formally and wo mama. Informally, my son becomes wo de arzi. Formally and wo arzi. Informally, my daughter translates as wo de nyuar. Formally and wo nyuar. Colloquially, my elder brother becomes wo de gege. Formally and wo ge ge, informally. My elder sister is translated as wo de jie jie. Formally and as wo jie jie, informally. Lastly, my younger sister becomes wo de mei mei. Formally and wo mei mei, informally. Great. Now let's move on to today's lesson. Today's learning objectives include numerals and a family conversation. Let's learn how to say numerals and have a small conversation regarding numbers and family. We'll start with numerals. Let us learn to read and pronounce numerals in Mandarin. We'll start with one to five, review, and then cover six to ten. Let's begin. One translates to e and is pronounced with a high-level tone. Can you say e? Good. Two is r and is pronounced with a falling tone. It is said as r. Three becomes san and is pronounced with a high-level tone, like. San. Four translates to s, and is said with a falling tone. Can you try and say s? Good work. Five translates to u, and is said with a falling, rising tone. Let's try and say u. Good. Let's see if you remember all five numbers. One translates to e. Two is r. Three becomes san. Four is translated as s. While five becomes u. Great. Now let's cover six through ten. Six translates to liu, and is pronounced with a falling tone, like liu. Seven becomes qi, and is said with a high-level tone. Let's try and say qi. 
eight is ba, pronounced with a high level tone, like ba. Nine translates to jio and is pronounced with a falling, rising tone. Can you try and say jio? Great! And here is the last one. Ten. Ten becomes shi and is pronounced with a mid rising tone, like shi. Let's take another look at numbers six through ten. Six translates to liu. Seven is qi. Eight becomes ba. Nine is jiu, while ten translates to shi. Good job! Now we can count to ten in Mandarin. Remember that pronunciation is key in Mandarin. Notice that the translation for ten is shi, while that of am is shi. The only difference being that of the tone. Now, let's move on to the second topic of today's lesson, a family conversation. Now that we know how to say numbers, let's learn vocabulary for some new sentences. How many or a few translates to ji, which is said using a falling, rising tone. The measure word for family is ko. It is pronounced with the falling, rising tone. This is the first measure word we have learned. Now let's go over the vocabulary for starting a family conversation. How many or a few becomes ji. The measure word for number of family members is ko. Person or people translates as ren. And has or to be, literally meaning to exist, translates as Yo. The literal meaning of the word ko is mouth, where it functions as a noun. As a measure word, however, ko means people. Let's go ahead and see how we use it. Let us see the word to word translation of the question How many people are there in your family? The phrase how many translates to Ji, followed by the measure word ko. People is run. Are there becomes yo. Your becomes ni. And lastly, family translates to jia. Thus, how many people are there in your family translates as ni jia. Yo ji ko run. That literally means your family has how many people? Great! Now let's see if you remember what we've done till now. How do we say how many? Do we say ji? Or can we say run? Or is it ko? Instead, the correct way of saying how many is G. Good job! Moving on, to answer the previous question, we can say the following My family has four people my dad, mom, an elder brother, and me. What about your family? Translating this sentence in Mandarin can be a little tricky. So let's divide the sentence into three parts and look at them individually. The first being, my family has four people. The second, my dad, mom, an elder brother, and me. And lastly, what about your family? Let's look at these sentences one by one. Here's the breakup for the sentence. My translates to wo. Family is jia. Has becomes yo. Four is translated as 
s. Ko is the measure word for family, and people becomes ren. Thus, there are four people in my family becomes wo jia yu si ko ren. Literally meaning, my family has four measure word people. Great. Let's go on to the next part. The sentence "my dad, mom, an elder brother, and me" is translated literally. Isn't that simple? Vocabulary required for this is "and," which becomes "he," and one item, which translates as "ige." We shall learn more about "ge" in future lessons. Here is the breakup of the sentence. My is wo. Dad translates to baba. Mom becomes mama. An or one is ige. Elder brother is translated as gege. And is he. And once again, me translates to wo. Thus, the sentence. My dad, mom, an elder brother, and me is translated as "wo ba ba, mama, yi ge ge ge, he wo." Remember that "yi ge" means "an" or "one." Let's look at the last part of the sentence. What about your family? Is translated in Mandarin as "Your family has how many people?" Let's see the breakup. Your is ni. Family becomes jia. Has translates to yo. How many is ji. Measure word becomes ko. While people translates to ren. Thus, what about your family translates to. 你家有几口人 Literally meaning, your family has how many people? So now that we've covered three sentences, let's review them once. How many people are there in your family? Translates to 你家有几口人 There are four people in my family. Is 我家有四口人 My dad, mom, an elder brother, and me is translated as 我爸爸妈妈一个哥哥和我 And lastly, what about your family? Becomes 你家有几口人 Note that how many people are there in your family, and what about your family, have the same meaning and translation in this case. All right, once again, it's quiz time. How do we say there are four people in my family? Do we say 我家有四口人 or is it 也我是人 Or do we say, 你家有几口人 instead? The correct way of saying there are four people in my family is, 我家有四口人 Great. Let's move on. While replying to this question, how many people are there in your family? We can say. There are five people in my family: my dad, mom, an older brother, an older sister, and me. We shall break this into two parts again. There are five people in my family translates as my family has five people. Here is the individual breakup. My is 我 family becomes 家 has. Translates to yo. Five is u. 
co is the measure word for family and people becomes ren. Thus, there are five people in my family is translated as wo jia you wu ko ren. That literally means my family has five measure word people. Let's look at the second part. My dad, mom, an older brother, an older sister, and me is translated literally. Let's see the breakup. My translates to wo. Dad is baba. Mom is mama. Elder brother becomes gege. Elder sister is jiejie. And translates to ke. And once again, me is wo. Thus, my dad, mom, elder brother, elder sister, and me translates to wo baba, mama, gege. Jie jie he wo. Great. Let's see if you remember what we've covered till now. How do we say my dad, mom, elder brother, elder sister, and me? Would you say wo jia you wu ko ren? Or can you say wo ba ba? Mama, ge ge, jie jie, he wo. Wo ba ba, mama, ge ge, jie jie, he wo is the correct way to say my dad, mom, elder brother, elder sister, and me. How do we say and me? Do we say? Ko ren, or is it he wo? Or do we say wo jia? And me literally translates as he wo in Mandarin. Good work. Let's do a quick review of what we learned. How many people are there in your family translates to ni jia. You ji ko ren. There are four people in my family. Is wo jia you si ko ren. My dad, mom, an elder brother, and me is translated as wo ba ba, mama, yi ge ge ge, he wo. What about your family becomes, 你家有几口人 There are five people in my family. Translates to, 我家有五口人 And lastly, my dad, mom, older brother, older sister, and me is translated as, 我爸爸 Mama, ge ge, jie jie, he wo. Excellent. Once again, it's time for the culture leap of the day. Today, we will discuss the tea culture in China. Tea culture of China differs from that of Europe, Britain, or Japan in such things as preparation methods. Tasting methods and the occasions for which it is consumed. In addition to it being a drink, Chinese tea is used in traditional Chinese medicine and in Chinese cuisine. In modern China, virtually every dwelling, even down to the simplest mud hut, has a set of tea implements for brewing a hot cup of tea. These implements are symbols of welcome for visitors or neighbors. Here is an image of some Chinese tea trays, teapots, and other utensils used for brewing a hot cup of tea. China also boasts of a tea museum located in Hangzhou, Zhejiang Province, China. 
The exhibitions display tea production and different kinds of tea. Here is a tea canister in a museum dating back to the 1800s. In the next lesson, we will learn about occupations. We hope you enjoyed your lesson today. See you at the alley for the next one.